Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here, and this is how to put lights behind a TV. You can see how the the background of my TV is kind of a purple color. Now I could use the A word, and I'm not going to say that because it would it may wake your devices if you have them. But I could use the A word and ask the A person to change the color, and it would change to whatever color I pick. So this is purple. I've got purple up there. I can change it, you know, using my voice commands. But I want to show you within this video how I've got this set up. Now, before I do, I want to remind everyone, expand this video's description and then click the link there and you can find the kit like I'm using. Now, keep in mind, not all of these are created equal. Um, some of them, they, they don't stick. Some of them don't have good reliability. Some of them don't have quality LED lights. But this one I'm very satisfied with and I felt the price was great. Again, expand this video's description and click the link there. Um, so I'm going to show you how I've got it set up. Now, obviously on the corners, and you may be more of an expert than me, but on the corners, you want to keep that as tight as possible. I mean, when I say tight, I mean you want to minimize. You don't want a big loop coming up. So that's how I've got that. It came with this tape, which was nice. I probably could have put an air strip across, but this is holding up well. The good thing about these lights, you can see here they adhere very well to the back of the TV, which is a plastic type material. That right there is some stuff. Uh, where, I, <laughs> where I had installed previously and I did not take the residue off. So that's when I had an old light strip. This light strip sticks. And that's why I like this one. You can see it's stuck down by itself, but where those corners, where you have those corners, you're gonna want to, you know, make sure you don't have a big band and you'll reinforce the corners with the included tape. So this, this has worked well. This has been on here uh, for a few days now. Uh, you know, one thing I recommend is keeping keeping that kind of away from the corners or the edges of the TV. And then that way, if it does pop out a little bit, you don't see the material. You just see the glow. Because see, even from a, a slight side angle here, you don't see the strip itself. You just see the glow that it's emitting. So I've been very happy with this. <clears throat> Again, there's a lot of strips out there that don't use the same type of adhesive and they'll just frustrate you beyond belief. So, you know, with that being said, I would highly recommend this strip. So expand this video's description and click the link there and you can find where to order it online. Uh, this one has got a little, uh, let me show you the little control knob here. So it's got this piece, the little controller right there that it plugs into. And then that's actually USB powered. So I've got a USB port on my TV. So I'm powering this light strip using the uh, TV's integrated USB port. Likewise, you could run that to a, you know, USB type power outlet, but I like it on the TV and then that way I don't have to deal with uh, running any more wires. I've been happy with it. Again, expand this video's description and click the link there and you can find where to order it online. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.